Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have something very important to discuss with you guys in the realm of jailbreaking, particularly pertaining to iOS 9.1, Apple's current latest public firmware, as well as iOS 9.2, Apple's upcoming next major release, which is currently in its first round of beta testing, and the $1 million jailbreak bounty. It appears someone has already claimed it. All right, so to get started here, if you're interested in my brand new Apple TV giveaway, be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions on that. Now, let's go ahead and get straight into this. First of all, I wanted to mention my previous video actually discussing this bounty and kind of dispelling some misconceptions surrounding it. So if you have yet to watch this video, I will have it linked for you guys directly on your screens now in card and annotation format, as well as down below in the more info if you happen to be on the mobile version of YouTube. But essentially a while back reports started to go around of this site hosting a one million dollar jailbreak bounty and people were under the impression that yeah that would be fantastic we're going to start receiving more new jailbreaks now and at that time there currently wasn't an ios 9 jailbreak since pangu has issued their jailbreak it isn't as big of a deal but people still believe that zerodium may deliver a jailbreak guys that is 100 percent inaccurate so in the zerodium ios 9 bounty section they actually have a lot of information here that leads to the conclusion that they're 100% private and they will never release anything to the public and for a complete breakdown of that just be sure to watch the aforementioned video but now today we have some interesting new information so launching up Twitter here you'll notice that their tweet from earlier this morning states quote our iOS hashtag zero day bounty has expired and we have one winning team who made a remote browser based iOS 9.1 slash 9.2 B or beta jailbreak untethered congrats so do not get your hopes up and do not feed into Zerodium so let's go ahead and switch on over to Safari here we're actually going to go to an exclusive interview with one of the co-founders as well as Wired here so let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit Wired of course is a credible source so as you can see here and I'm quoting now Zerodium plans to reveal the technical details of the technique to its customers whom the company has described as as, quote, major corporations in defense technology and finance seeking zero day attack protection, as well as, quote, government organizations in need of specific and tailored cybersecurity capabilities. So, guys, this is exactly what I said in the video discussing Zerodium when the bounty first went live. So, essentially, these are people who are brokering a deal for a jailbreak. It will not include Cydia and the people who are at the other end of this deal. So, not counting the people who developed it, who we have over here that ended up selling it to Zerodium. So Zerodium would be in the middle and we have the buyers over here who are likely paying Zerodium a higher cost than what these people sold it for. So the developers of it. Now the reason why these people would be interested in buying it in the first place if they're not interested in Cydia would likely be so that they could install spyware on devices or exploit Apple's mobile operating system for some other gain, again, outside of traditional jailbreaking. But with these two things mentioned, number one, that government agencies are involved, and number two, that it is a browser-based jailbreak, that means these guys over here, the people who acquired the jailbreak from Zerodium, are actually interested in having said jailbreak be easily deployable by anyone. So basically, they'll likely want their employees and or agents to easily be able to deploy this jailbreak on any device, again, likely for spyware purposes. So I've said this in the past, I'm going to say it again now, and I'll probably say it in the future too, especially if these guys continue to get circulation through the Apple and jailbreak news blogosphere, nothing will come of Zerodium, at least not from the public standpoint, guys. And I don't think these guys are in it for the right reasons whatsoever, especially since they're selling these jailbreaks, and if the exploits are never disclosed to Apple, which chances are good, Apple will patch them eventually, but if they're not disclosed in a public fashion, then this could be very dangerous for the people who may be affected by this jailbreak. Again, guys, once jailbroken spyware can definitely be installed on devices. However, a typical jailbreak, so something that Pangu or Taiji would deliver that installs Cydia, are all completely 100% fine and secure. Sorik makes sure of that and nothing on the default repos will infect your devices. But when we're talking about jailbreaks that are not authorized, that will not install Cydia, and 
and that are private, like what we see here with Zerodium, all bets are off. So this is what gives jailbreaking a bad name. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new coverage on all developments in the realm of jailbreaking, as well as more videos like this dispelling misconception and rumors pertaining to jailbreaking, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. Now, for those of you who are interested in winning a brand new Apple TV, all you have to do is go to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. Once you do, download one or more of the sponsored apps in the main section, just so long as you earn points. Then go to the fourth tab at the bottom and you see that referral link there. Post it in the comment section of my unboxing video of the Apple TV, which I will have linked for you guys now. It's really that simple. Don't forget, there will be new and actual developments from credible members of the jailbreak community soon. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I talk about said developments, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.